it. This thing is bothering me because it's on the ground and I must pick it up. That's a line there since the day before yesterday. It's small. Maybe no one's noticed it. Well, I noticed it so many times. I kind of want to pick it up. It'll make a cool souvenir, don't you think? It does stick out of my mind for some reason. Pick it up! Durr, guys! Okay. I can examine more things, but I don't think they'll say... Will they say anything? Hi there, Cipolo. Want something to drink? Uh, how about... Yeah. Yeah, this is all <laughs> before, but the headset was new. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna examine the crime scene. That's not just a room, and the scene of the crime is kind of like me guarded for being a crime scene. I'm not complaining. It makes it easy for us to go in. And Emma gave us her okay, right? We can wander in and do as we like. How is Emma doing anyway? I hope she's not getting any cavities from eating all those shaka snackies. Oh, he cares about her. Wait, what? He. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me for me being silly here. I'll present the turn's badge. Uh, yeah. But I'm sorry, but my information about the. Ah, I'm not even doing her voice. I'm sorry, but my information about the outside world is somewhat limited. I only know what I have heard or felt. Maybe that explains why she didn't react when I showed her stuff the other day. Exactly. She was still pretending she can see then. And the brooch, because I can't. Do you think you can tell me? Oh, not even your brooch. Not even your brooch. Ooh, the videotape. Let's show her that. We took a look at your performance again. It was even better than the sec- uh, Even better the second time. Thank you. That reminds me. That was an incredible illusion you pulled off. Illusion? When you teleported from one stage to the other, remember? Professional magician. Balance Grimari. I was wondering, do you think you can tell us how it was done? I'm afraid I cannot. Darn. <laughs> Mr. Grimari made me swear she'd never tell a soul. I was afraid of that. Aww. I want to know about magic tricks. I love magic. Oh, no wonder I love Juicy and everything. <laughs> it's hard to be a magician if you can't keep a secret, you know? No fail. Okay, fine. Don't show me. Okay, the voice. That was quite a statement you made today in court. Yeah, about hearing Darian Crescent's voice at the scene of the crime. I do not know his name, but I never forget the voice. I believe her. I don't know why, but I just believe her. And yeah, we do not need to see this again. What? This is the third time you see this. As I said in court, I was on my way backstage from the stage. I was on my way backstage from the stage. What? That is when I heard his voice. I'm guessing Darian and Mr. Latus were talking about something? The next moment, I heard those gunshots. Why didn't you call security? To be honest, though, the noise was quite frightening. I never imagined the gunshots might be real. And I was in quite a hurry myself. I left the scene at once. So, it really was Darian's voice that she heard. Yeah. At least, she certainly thinks it was. Hmm, but that, that, that makes sense. Hmm. Hopefully all this uh, loopholes will clear up soon. I met... Machi before my debut as L'Amour. I was singing in a restaurant in Virginia. Backstory, we like. And he was playing the piano? Yes. He was very kind to me when he learned I could not see. Is that when he started playing opposites? With M Machi pretending he couldn't see? Ah, uh, no. It wasn't then. That began after a major debut. After it became known as the landscape painter and sound. It must have been tough for Machi. Pretending he couldn't see, and all the while acting as your eyes. Well, he, we held hands always. He would write with his finger on the palm, signaling to me things I should know. He is a smart, gentle boy. You see, like your son. I think I see what she's getting at. Machi would never harm a soul. Yeah, I believe Machi didn't do anything wrong. I believe he, he wouldn't kill anyone, right? I don't know. 
but looks could be deceiving. About Mr. Latouse. Ah, uh, yes, he was an Interpol agent, I hear. So you had no idea? Of course not. No one did. I guess that's what it means to be undercover. But someone was after him. They had to know who he really was. They had to? Why? Why do you post my manager? I do not understand. You have no idea? I can only assume that he was investigating me. But why? What makes you think that? Perhaps it is not so, but I cannot deny the possibility. Because of my condition. As my present is veiled, veiled in darkness, so too is my past clouded from memory. Clouded? Right. But even if Miss Latus was an undercover agent or top you know, top secret mission with first the actual killer would they actually Well they know all that he is. When they probably when they saw the letters numbers the the, the the Interpol number. If you saw victim write something down, you pretty you would want to uh, wipe it away, right? Right? I don't know what it means. I don't know. That's what I think. The darkness that I fear is not the darkness that I see whenever I open my eyes. The real darkness lies in my heart. Aw, but she's so sweet, though. In your heart? I had no memory of the time before I became Lamoir. I awoke from darkness into darkness, you might say. I was singing in a restaurant those days. What was it that she said about not being able to remember the light? I do not know my past. Perhaps I committed some terrible crime in my past. Everything before becoming Lamoir is lost to me. But, but I don't think you... I can't think of no other explanation. Why else would an agent or Interpol approach me? Do you think your past might be related to this case? No way, that seems really unlikely to me. I mean, you're such a sweet person, Lamar. My thoughts exactly. I thank you. Machi too tells me this often when I fear who I might have been. Ah. Uh. And then after you talk to everything, but uh, talk to everything and stuff, and uh, this what happens. The music stops, and yeah. Ah, uh, I am reminded that I wish to speak to you about something. Yes. When I was walking this hallway before. I stumbled upon a small device of some kind. It was lying on the floor. People should put their electronics elsewhere, like in a, in a on a table, but not on the floor. People might stumble over. Yeah, it's people will stumble over or trip over, you know. Device? Maybe you mean this. That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. Yes, we know that. We just examined it earlier. My tie? Touch it? I thought as much. What? What did you think? This is one of our headsets. Everyone on staff wears one during concert. I wonder whose this is. We use it for communication and we're quite inconvenient should it go missing. Or being stepped on and smushed. Oh, the electronics. Please don't hurt it. We'll hold, on, we'll hold on to it for you then. We'll give it to the prostitute. Uh, we'll give it to prostitute Gavin when we see him. Yes, that's best. Thank you. So, can I put it on? Headset attached to Choosy. <laughs> I just love it. Oh gosh. These little things are so hilarious. Attached? I'm not some kind of robot, Apollo. <laughs> oh, just, oh, I love that line. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I love this game. Okay. I, okay. Calm down. <laughs> Everyone on staff was wearing one of these headsets. This might warrant some further inquiry. Oh, that uh, means that we should present the headset to her, even though she talked about it already. Can I ask you about this headset, Lamar? You said that all concert staff. That you said that all concert staff were wearing one. That's correct. You need them to communicate across such a large stage. Everyone on the staff had one, of course, and all the band members too, I should think. So Prosser Gavin and his lackeys have them on too, then. They're quite helpful, though limited. They only work within 30 feet or so. I wonder how they work. After all, they're only for use on stage. And a strong signal would interfere with the sound system. Hmm, that makes sense. You think someone would notice if they dropped their Halloween communication life communications lifeline? So why was this one lying here? 
mystery after mystery. Yeah. Transceiver, uh, receiver, transmitter for voice signals with a 30 foot range. All concert staff war one. Let's look at it. Ten for that little buddy. This is Tracy Party in. Over. Why not sudden silence? No one answered. Don't be silly. What game is a receiver that doesn't receive? That's like Emma not performing forensic su investigations. You make her sound like she's some kind of forensic investigation machine. <laughs> Which is just silly. Unless she's a super high tech android that runs on statues. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dude, this game is just too much. Anyway, let's. Um. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Uh, let's go talk to. Uh, smirking man. <laughs> that song. Isn't that the one Lamar was singing? Who's playing it? Yeah, you're right. The guitar serenade. Well, I'd love to do a show on stage like this. Jesus, the piano is beautiful. <laughs> I come to see that. The house is full, and this one, the audience sighs with wonderment. There I am, seeing my ballad rose petals swirling through the air. Not bad. Wait, aren't you a magician? <gasps> oh! That's right, I was a magician, wasn't I? Some dedication. <laughs> Ah! Aha! If it isn't Miss Trissy, and indeed it is, Uncle Valens. What exactly are you doing here? So he plays the piano. Shocking. I take real responsibility in tasks undertaken. I am inspecting my equipment of illusion to make sure not to a miss, Miss. That loud Morris teleportation illusion. Ooh. Should anything go wrong, it would reflect poorly upon me and my truth. As I went about my exacting examination, I happened to notice that piano. And I remember that fair lady's melancholy melody. Hey, Paula, maybe Uncle Valen can shed some life on this whole thing for us. I thought he wouldn't tell me us about the thing, the, the illusion. Okay, let's examine the piano. As you should. That's one big piano. I've never actually played one. Heh, <laughs> you should get Mr. Ray to teach you sometime. No good, you can't play either. I kind of feel bad for the guy now. <laughs> uh, there's a piano at the office. Why can't you play on that? Oh, yeah, there's like sh stuff, stuff on the piano that you can't really play on it if there's things on it. Maybe now's my ch big chance! Stand back, this could be the debut of a prodigy. Huh? Ew. Did you make that noise just now? Does that mean she farted? Um, let me try it again. You know, I think something's stuck in the piano. Time to take a look under the hood. Huh? Look! This was stuck between the strings! It looks like some kind of switch. Someone must have thrown this into the piano. This wasn't here before when I... or... Well, Trisha wasn't playing it earlier. Switch placed in pocket. So scientific. Ladder. That's the ladder we used to climb up the stage tower. Not a moment I'm likely to forget anytime soon. Me neither. I'll never be able to climb another tower again without thinking about it, you know? I'll never be able to climb a tower again. Period. <laughs> okay, this is, this is funny. Or... Is it funny? I forgot. I still can't believe we found Machi and Mr. Latus up there. Yeah, I used to not like high places. Now I hate them. It's not like it would have been nicer if we found a dead body closer to the ground. Though, that reminds me. Daddy's bad at heights, too. Huh, oh, no kidding. Oh, this is funny now. It took me a... He took me on a Ferris wheel ride a while ago, you know? Halfway through, his face got all green and he mumbled objection over and over. Poor guy. Oh yeah, I just love that. You can just imagine that happening. Phoenix trying to, like, please choose C by going, uh, going to on a roller coaster with her and... <laughs> or, was it Ferris wheel? I forgot. Ah. 
I don't remember. <laughs> Objection over and over again. <laughs> I just love it. Okay. So yeah, both Paul and Phoenix don't like 